Let's have a look. Monastery's notable keepers adorn these intricate panels. The reconsecration of the monastery, conducted by Dawnmaster Seed. Even song before the Zenith Day, celebrated by Dawnmaster Stockhold. Dawnmaster Vasaid wielding. The rest of the inscription and picture has shattered away. Dawnmaster Welkin Glory beckons forth the rising sun in Lathander's name. Dawnmaster Seed. Yes? Dawnmaster Stockhold. Master for Said. Dawn Master Seed.
Arskel Stockhold, Dawnmaster, from Death, Life. room for more? Infinitely better here yeah, watching this back. Not letting you bring me down. Within the artifact, a feeling stirs. Uncertainty. Sklar! Where did you. Journey's over, Istik. It'll be swift. We are never informed first. But if Kithrak Voss wanted you alive, he must have had his reasons. Very well. Enter. Seek Kithrak Therizim within. Something of authority. What? Will they not heed their just still? They're not following orders. Mm. Poor conduct. That will not serve them well in battle. Is there no odious substance not smeared on this delivery? I'd heard this plane was disgusting, but I didn't think it would be like this. Chick. Most metals here fold like Istix, much like Istix themselves. But if you're so keen to extol their virtues, you can pay accordingly.
on your way then. No one's stopped me yet. What now? on my mind and, well, in it.
remember, clean items only. Breathe deep and move. We are permitted to walk so freely. Such a lack of I heard they're making us join the patrol soon. The search must be going badly. What if they don't find the weapon? Do we even know it? An istic? But... But you can't be here! I can't be seen with you! That's your cry! Quanirel! The Inquisition have more to worry about than who you talk to in the corridors. Our Queen's eyes and ears. They're her will incarnate. And right now, they're here. See? I told you. Nothing to worry about. She's in her quarters. Through those doors. Something's on my mind. Kachoki! We are training to fight Geek! You think they will hesitate? They won't need to if we keep killing each other for them! It's stupid! Orphy... Silence! It seems your child is prattling, is attracting an audience. You fight again. This time, daggers only. And to the death, as instructed. Who wants to challenge this sniveling Istark? You? Tuskva. My students do not waste their time fighting such weaklings. But as we seem so intent on doing things differently today, why not? Take a dagger, stranger. This exercise requires nothing more than a blade and a backbone. What are you waiting for? Begin! I... I refuse. There has to be a better way. Kill it. Kill him and put us all out of our misery. skillfully avoid hitting any major organs, but apparently it was enough. He's out cold. Ah, yet another staggering display of incompetence. Move him out of the way. We've wasted enough time already. You are well on your way to being gate food. Do better! Drag hard! Flesh, flesh. No hesitation. Take you. Take you. Take you. Take you. <sighs> Thank you, Istic. The Savage would have left me there to die. He's always telling us how we have to be ruthless, that death is the only mercy we deliver. But you... you showed compassion and kindness. You're just like... Never mind. There's nobody here like you. Trust me. Uh, now, please! I need to get these swords sharpened, or Savage will sharpen them on me! Quicker! A gig would have smeared you across... Did you see that? What a wimp! I'm way braver than Val. Here we 
we go. By an Inquisitor in an age, it is an honor. I would be more concerned than excited. You may proceed to the crash. Stop meddling where you aren't wanted, Istik. You may proceed. Forgive me. We have not been visited by an Inquisitor in an age. It is an honor. I would be more concerned than excited. Now Istik wander our halls at their leisure. Captain Therizan will be even more irate than usual. This imposing portrait depicts a powerful Githyanki warrior, undeniably regal in her mien. Vlacketh herself. She is both the sun that blinds us and the void that contains us. Praise be. In the corner of the painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. Just as you find your flow, you slip. you should leave before someone notices. What is this? What's that? I need to get rid of it before the Inquisitor sees. this the inquisitor is going to gut us one by one and it's all your fault keep a blade close what are we here not the artistic breakthrough you were hoping for but it has a certain unorthodox charm can't slow down. Not now, Kachuki! We're busy! <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Mm, no. Nah, we're having fun! This crash is bug looking for me to dump a like him. What's up for discussion? Istik! Are you supposed to be here? 
Maybe I should report you to the Savash. Vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord. Intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259. Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stand there gawking? I am a child of gift, not discarded rat flesh. Am I not due your respect? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Let the istic with you speak. And I will decide what respect you're owed. Laser, is it? Fine. And be quick. My work is of vital import. We carry gay tadpoles and have done so for countless days. Yet we show no symptoms. We must enter the Zaysk. You are infected, but showing no signs of cerebral impairment. Fascinating. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. We must find out which. Go to the Sathisk. I will ensure you are cured. The apparatus at the top of those stairs. Quickly, now. Time is of the essence. Even Githyanki rarely experiences Aethys. You are very lucky, Istik. Here goes nothing. Zaythisk. In its unnatural embrace lies the hope of being cured. You feel your parasite stir. You deny me my due, then seek my comfort. Bah! Sit and be pure! Your body grows cold, its warmth sapped by the cold metal seat. The machine awakens. You must focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk will do the rest. Layers of magic weave themselves tightly around your head. The tadpole squirms and contracts. It's trying to hide. You realize the device is hunting your parasite, but it's doing so blindly. Without direction, your faculties could be permanently damaged. Your skull groans and bends under the pressure. Then, <laughs> agony. Your limbs are unresponsive, cut off by the device's magic. You can't move. You urge your body from the chair with every fiber of your consciousness. But can't lift so much as a finger. You're hurting. Let me help. The room 
swims back into focus. Inside your head, you feel a familiar squirm. You escaped, but so did your tadpole. No! No! The Zade Disc! What have you done? My life's work! Gone! And yet you live! And so does your parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. Then all this destruction was a symptom of its power? <laughs> Incredible. I am disappointed that we could not extract it alive. It would have been an exceptional specimen. In any case, your problem is resolved. Leave me. I must salvage what I can. No! No! By the Queen's blade, what have you done?! That was too close. Skvar! The Sathisk! It might have killed you. I felt your torment. Someone must have tampered with it. An aberrance I can't begin to comprehend. There must be a Sharlak in this crash. A traitor. The sort that is hunted, slaughtered, and erased from our histories. Few would dare dishonor their queen. Fewer still would be so brazen. Now hurry. We must go to the Chirai and inform him of the Saphisk's tampering. Swift as my feet can carry me. There's a parasite nearby. You should take a closer look. Parasite, brimming with magic. You were seen stealing. Resolving this peacefully will require more caution than you displayed in getting caught. Nothing illicit can be found. The accusation collapses. Don't linger. for me. Entirely too empty. I'd expect to see 15 eggs at the very least. Very well. Is Stick are permitted to view the birthing pools now? These are strange times. Step carefully while here. Our hatchery is protected by lethal safeguards. I do not wish to pick your remains from them. Most are hatched. Only one remains. Monitored by Varsh Koku, the caretaker of our young. You may speak to the Varsh if you wish, but stay away from the egg. 
There will be no second warning. You can tell Kithrak Therizin that my position has not changed. The egg requires more time. Furthermore... Oh. I was not expecting an istic. What brings you to my hatchery? Someone with orders from our commander to destroy this egg. Almost all of the eggs in this clutch have hatched. We await only one more, which is... Taking its time. Most caretakers would not give the child its fair chance, but I shall. There could be greatness in that shell. You note that the hope in his voice is tinged with weariness. It's the voice of a man who's fought the inevitable for a long time. Not all that arrive late are weak. I created this entire hatchery, despite being the last of my clutch to hatch. They almost drowned me in the hatching pool, if it wasn't for the Vash of my clutch. This one deserves the same chance. What do you know about Gith Yankee child rearing? Still, the captain's due for an inspection any day now. And if she sees it here. Tell me, what will you do with it if I entrust it to you? That's what I feared. Still, I'm sure its nature will pervade, even if raised among lesser species. I can no longer ignore that Kithrak Therizin's patience has its limits. Very well. Here, take these. They will aid your approach to the egg. Please come out. shell. You can see a vague outline of something within it.
reputation. I'll give it a shot. before they'd had the chance to say anything useful. Strange that one of your... Please, Chitrai, I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the Astral Prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight, Chitrai. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us... Quiet. Find the astral prison, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chitrai. You heard him! Go! Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. Once ate a dwarf, armor and all. Took me a whole ten day to pass him. Anything of use? If she keeps making me eat armor, I'm going on hunger strike. An istic in my crash. You are one of the mercenaries sent to bring the weapon. The Istic is with me, honored Kithrak. So noted. But my question goes unanswered. Do you bring the weapon? Don't tell her anything. You are well informed. My crash discovered the same. We know infected flock to Moonrise Towers. I reported the gathering masses back to Tunarath. In response, they sent an Inquisitor. Instead of ordering an assault, we were told to join in this mad hunt for an ancient relic. Meanwhile, illithid sickness spreads right in front of us. It is small, angular, metal, adorned with Tiersu script. Stolen by true soul heretics. You realize she seeks the artifact you carry. What was that look? You know something. Do you have it? Shema Zalavlakith. Give it to me. No. No! Yeah. 
Yes. There it is. Exactly as described. The Inquisition will finally come to an end. Manipulate it when I cannot? It appears you have been chosen, Istic. You are lucky. It is not for me to question why. Go, seek the Inquisitor below, and take the cursed thing with you. The Inquisitor awaits. Follow the corridor. I'm not here. Speak to the Captain. Let's see how well she handles this. This place is even more foreboding than the rest of the crash. Do as I do. The Inquisitor shall tolerate only the utmost respect. I'm a bit afraid this Inquisitor won't want to say anything useful. It's never been that simple before. I don't know why it would be now. Ah, our esteemed guest. Please approach. We have much to discuss. My Arden spoke of one of our kin that escaped a crashing geek slave vessel. Chry. Vlacketh's justice in flesh. You have accomplished much, child. I am pleased to finally meet you. I heard there is so much goblin blood on your hands that it soaks their children's nightmares. To business. I suspect you plucked something precious from the geek ship. Something that belongs to us. The weapon. Give it to me. Don't do it. The weapon is how I protect you. Do it. Do not disobey the Inquisitor. What business is that of yours? Suffice to say my queen wants it. But know that you will have been instrumental in stopping the Grand Design. Hand it over. The Grand Design is what all Geek seek. The restoration of the Illithid Empire, which spanned the entirety of the multiverse. For centuries, their elder brains sought to bring back their dominion. Every plot they hatched, we stopped. But now they are close to succeeding. Never before could they pause Ceremorphosis. Never before could they let the infection spread undetected. You saw the thralls gathered on the Geek ship. Imagine that everywhere. Once, needs, choice, all would cease to be. Everything rendered unto the Geek. So, the weapon. Please. Don't give it to him. Do not try me. Hand over the artifact or die by my hand. I know my path. Refuse him the artifact and it will run with your blood. No. So it is found. Flaketh Gorg Shkathzai. My queen. Shkathzai. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to kneel. The Deathless Queen has spoken. You will obey. Who am I? I am 
flutters, undying queen of the noble Gith Yankee, god regent of the six arms of Tonara! choice of allies is most vexing. They do not become you, Blazel. Chma Zala Vlaketh. You know me. Erlon of Kalir speaks most highly, as did Archaia before. You seek purity. I may yet grant it. Istic. You bear that which is ours. But are you friend, or are you thief? Your utility is proven, but your heroism is yet to be witnessed. A test, then, to see if you are as capable as you profess to be. That weapon... The astral prison. It is corrupted. I will cleanse it for you, my queen. Tell me how. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped. Broken. A blight. They are an agent of the grand design. Sent to sabotage the astral prison. Our last defense against the return of the Elithid Empire. As long as they live, the prison is compromised. Kill them! Do this, and I will cleanse you and your allies. Do this, and ascend! Place the weapon in the plane, Caster. Fulfill my queen's most holy edict. Don't do it!
every dream that ever was stitched together. It is home. So you came, in spite of all my warnings. Disappointing. Come, we will talk in private. Just the two of us. Suit yourself. 
But only the leader of your group is coming in. I will not allow anyone else. Oh, don't look at me. That is all yours. I may have made a mistake trusting you. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki. But you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? And now... You've come here to murder me. Hmm. I told you I stole the artifact from someone. Well, I stole it from Blackith. Since then, she has become desperate. Blackith wants me dead because I know her secret. It is a secret so great that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule, the end of her. That same secret is how I've been protecting you from the Absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Blackith warned you that I would try to deceive you. But consider this. What reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you. Freedom. I'm on your side. I have been since the very beginning. Seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. Lakith will be furious to make no mention of your Githyanki companion. The Lich Queen fears nothing more than the loss of her empire. The knowledge I have of her deception will bring that about. Godlike in power, yes, but with none of the sanctity. Vlakith is lying to her people. She pretends to know how Gith destroyed the Mind Flayer Empire. In truth, she knows nothing. If the Illithid Empire were ever to return, she would be incapable of stopping them. And if her people found out about her impotence, there would be mutiny, revolution, the end of her rule. But that very power, the power to resist Illithid control, which Vlakith only pretends to know, is how I've been protecting you. I suppose she hoped to extract it from my corpse. Since you spared me that fate, she will come for you. A logical question. But you're not ready for the answer. I have delayed long enough. The next attack is overdue, and I can't risk you being caught in the middle of it. I need you out there, searching for the Absolute. You were on the right path to Moonrise Towers. Return to it. Be warned, the Inquisitor awaits your return from this place with orders to kill you. No doubt the rest of the Kresh will join him. Good luck. Tell me everything. Not now. Speak. Have you killed my queen's enemy? Blasphemy! She warned you not to trust the one inside! Your mind tingles. Lysel seeks entrance. Your thoughts become one. She sees the truth of your confrontation in an instant. Vlakith Tafkinazin. I see only... only madness. Vlakith bears the full might of Tunarath's arms, and the covenant of the Great Mother Gith. We must go to the Chirai. He will summon Vlakith. She must know of this... this apostate! <laughs> 